YouTube, it's your boy Zink, and we are back with another video. And today I'm gonna to be showing y'all how to make and edit your YouTube videos on iPhone. Let's start off with making the video. First thing that you wanna remember when recording is to always turn your phone sideways. That's important because whenever you're on YouTube and your audience is watching you, they wanna see a full screen. So therefore you need to turn your phone sideways. If you do it vertically, the video will come out vertical and it'll look all weird. So make sure you turn it sideways. Next, you wanna do the obvious, record a video. It can be whoever, whatever, don't matter. Just record your video. Don't don't stress over making the video either. If you're anything like me, I happen to stop, start over, stop, start over frequently because I mess up a lot. Don't do that because honestly, you're just going to end up editing it anyway. When you finish recording the video, it's now time to add the final touches, which leads us to our next part, the editing. You can find majority of them for free on the app store, but if you want more serious in-depth editing, more than likely you'll have to buy an app that does all the things that you want to do. But today we're just going to stick with the free apps. I use InShot when I edit my videos. It's a simple and easy app to use and it's free. So when you first enter InShot, you'll see three options, video, photo, and collage. You just made a video, so click video, new, find a video that you just made. I'm gonna just click this one. And then it takes you to the editing tab. Here you can basically do whatever you wanna do, add music, stickers, text, filter, etc. the whole nine yards. So let's say you want to split apart in the video for whatever reason, right? What? You see, I took way too long to talk, so I'm gonna go right before I start talking and split it. What I do, you just scroll over here, you press split, and it's gonna highlight the scene, right? But that's not what you're focusing on. You're focusing on this right here. So once it's split, you can basically do whatever you wanna do. You can delete it, you can duplicate it if you want to. You can basically rotate it, freeze, reverse, do whatever you wanna do. But just for the sake of this video, we're just gonna delete it. So you wanna add text, easy. Find the part you wanna add text. What is in. up, YouTube, it's your boys. I'm a, I know I said zinc right there, so I'm gonna just type zinc. And you can change the color. You can add like the, you can give it like a little animation. You can change the font. You know, just basically do whatever you wanna do with your text. And if you notice, whenever a scene is highlighted, you see these arrows on the side. That just basically means you could put it till the end of your clip or a video. So you wanna add a sticker, maybe like a subscribe button or a social media. Just go over here to the sticker. I press sticker and they give you a whole load of just stuff to choose from. I'm gonna go over here to this Facebook and this is where all the other medias are. I'm gonna click my Instagram. Well, click the Instagram icon. And I'm gonna just do it to the end of the video. Why not? And then in addition, I'm gonna put my Instagram. You can adjust it, make it small. I don't know what just happened, but whatever. So now it looks like this. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Zink, and we are back with another banger boy so you don't like how your video is looking you think that it looks dull and you need some color you go over here to the filter press filter and just choose whichever one suits you i usually like vintage i don't know why it's something about vintage and you can even adjust it like you can change up the brightness put some contrast on it some warmth you know, just play around with it. Do whatever it is that you want to do. Cool thing about InShot is it has this AI effect feature and you can add like a line around yourself. Boy, Zink, and we and are you could like do a clone. Just basically Boy, Zink, all this type of cool back. stuff. But for further edits, it does Boy, require Zink, you to have back. InShot Pro. Like for, if you notice for some of these, it says like InShot Pro unlock all features. You do have to have InShot Pro for those type of features. Now you got your text, filter, everything, but you want to add an effect. You would just click the scene. You would go back to a filter. You would press effect. Wish your boy Zink and we are back with it. As a matter of fact, this is what we're going to do. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Zink, and we are back with another banger, boy. When that's done, it what looks something like this. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Zink, and we are back 
with another banger, boy. Yes, sir. Now, you feel as if you should have some music, right? You want some music, some tunes in that thing, right? So just go to music, press music again. They always normally provide music. You can use your own music, but be aware you will maybe get copyrighted. Me, I like to use the beats and feelings. I'm gonna just go with Drift. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Zink, and we are back. With another banger, boy. That's good to me. Let's say you made a reaction video, right? And you want to put the video you reacted to in your video. You would go over here to Pip. You would press this PIP button. You would click the video that you reacted to. You can adjust it. You can enlarge it. You can make it smaller. You can put it wherever it is that you want to do. You can put the volume down on it. I'm going to turn the volume down on this just so it doesn't nice. interfere with my actual video and when you're done it'll look something Good like boy. this all right so today we actually got a little story time so you can I have the video the like on the side while you're reacting to it or whatever you want to slow down or speed a scene up scrolling over here to speed have the part of the video you want sped up or slow down highlight it and just with it Just play around with it. YouTube, it's your boy Zink, and we are back with another banger, boy. All right, so today we actually got a little story time. If there's like a part of the video you just don't like and want to replace it with something else, perhaps another video, you would just go over the scene that you want replaced. Make sure it's highlighted. You will go over here to replace. And then you would just replace it with something else. I'm gonna just click this video. And I'm gonna turn the sound off on. So now it's just... Alright, so today we actually got a little story time. And you can increase and decrease the sound if you want to make it interesting. And you can even add a little sound effect. And that is how to make and edit your YouTube videos on iPhone. If you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. If you enjoyed today's video, smash that like button. Zink out. Well, let me in.